Almiana County School Superintendent's got a lesson plan on preparing for schools to open in about a month. As of now, they plan to follow recommendations from major health organizations. First News reporter Jacob Thompson has that story. We are about a month away from students returning to schools, and even though restrictions have relaxed since May, Columbiana County schools are still looking at the health department for guidance. So we met with the school superintendents today to kind of review the, the recommendations that have come from uh, American Academy of Pediatrics, the CDC, and, and most recently the Ohio Department of Health. While it is highly recommended that schools continue sanitizing, hand washing, and social distancing, one of the biggest questions that still remains is do students still have to wear masks this fall? The unvaccinated students, uh, you know, we continue to support and, and uh, look at the requirements from the state or recommendations from the state, which is that the state strongly recommends uh, students wear masks in school. I think it's common sense to follow the recommendations. And um, I think parents are going to have an opportunity to make that decision ultimately. Donald Mook is the superintendent for Columbiana Schools. He says the mask at this point will be recommended from the school. They are still planning on using temperature scanners and hand washing stations. If mandates come down, we'll follow them. Uh, otherwise, we think that parents have that's a strategy for them. They have the opportunity to make that decision. And another conversation that was brought up in this morning's meeting was the topic about a child getting sick, not just with COVID, but with other diseases. And so it's very important for families to understand that if your child is sick for any reason, not just COVID, if they're sick, don't send them to school. Health Commissioner Wesley Venn says there might be a slight difference on how each school handles recommendations. In Columbiana County, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.